Shimano is without doubt the biggest name when it comes to road group sets. But do you know the difference between Durace and 105 or Claris and Tiagra? There are so many options, so we're going to take you through the six main mechanical group sets and two electronic group sets that Shimano has to offer. We're going to go through the main differences between them and hopefully help you make sense of the whole range. So let's start with what you actually get within a group set. So if we look at this bike here, it starts with the shift and brake levers, or as Shimano call them, the STI levers. Then there's a chain set or crank set included. We have a front and rear derailleur, cassette, chain, and then the brakes, which can be rim brakes or in this case, hydraulic disc brakes. I briefly mentioned that there are both mechanical and electronic group sets available. And the main differences between the two is how they shift gear. The mechanical group set uses a cable to move the derailleurs over the gears, whereas the electronics version uses wires and batteries to do the same job. Don't forget that all the group sets and components here today can be bought on freewheel.co.uk, a convenient way of shopping online while still supporting your local bike shop. Now, Claris can be found often on entry-level bikes, normally sub 500 pounds, and it is a group set that is designed for new riders and it's designed to be as simple as possible. The great thing about it though is it shares a lot of the design features of some of the higher end group sets so it doesn't look entry level at all. Claris is an eight speed group set that means it's got eight cogs at the rear and then there are two chain set options so the front set of chain rings. There's a double which is obviously the two chain ring and then a triple option. Shimano only produce one of each to keep things as simple as possible, but it uses the same Holotech 2 design as all the rest of the range. That means we've got a two piece chain set. So the left hand crank arm attaches to the right hand crank arm, which has the bottom bracket axle on and attached. This uses hollowed out crank arms, so we're trying to keep it as light as possible. But it also uses the hollow style chain rings on here as well. So we have a backing on there, which keeps things quite stiff. So it has some of the same performance benefits of the higher end. So this is where we have this trickle down technology coming into play. It also uses a redesigned shift lever, so the STR lever. It's only available in a rim brake version, so we don't have any hydraulic disc brake versions at this level, but it retains the same style and design and the dual control shift in of all of the rest of the range. So we have a large lever, which is your brake lever, and then we can push for shifting up and down the cassette. It uses slick cables as well, so we've still got very, very good shifting at this level. If we go down to the rear derailleur, it uses the traditional rear derailleur design from Shimano. Uh, it's available in a GS, which is the longer cage to allow it to run the wider range cassette that is available at this level. And then if we look at the cassette itself, the cassette is the HG50, which shares up onto the next level as well. This is a pressed steel cassette. So it's only made up of three different parts. So most of the cassette is a single piece, i.e. they are all riveted together. Uh, it's pressed steel, but it still has the shifting ramps and it's drilled as well to keep it as light and with the performance in mind. So it's a very, very well performing cassette. There are plenty of uh, options available in the eight speed version, but the most popular one is the 11 to 34 and you'll find most bikes will come with that. Now, the main difference between Sora and Claris, the one below, is that Sora goes to a nine-speed drivetrain. It shares a very, very similar chain set to the Claris. So this is still the Holotech 2 version, um, and it has the hollowed out arms as well. There are more options though, and that's the main difference between this and the Claris. So there are more options with chainring size here. So it's slightly more advantageous for riders that are maybe a little bit more experienced. The cassette is the same HG50, but nine speed version as the Claris's eight speed version. So it uses the same manufacturing process and the same material. So it's pressed steel sprockets that are riveted together with a couple of separate ones on top. The shifters themselves are fairly similar to the Claris version. So they have the same action and the same profile, just it shifts nine gears rather than eight gears. So they feel 
almost exactly the same on there. And the same goes for the front derailleur itself that uses the more traditional longer arm to actually shift gears. And again, it's available in both double and triple, just like the chain sets. If we look at the braking options for the Sora group set, it's rim brake only, just like with Claris. Uh, the brakes themselves are a single pivot design that use a spring to provide the tension at the back and a large barrel adjuster on the top. And they've got single compound pads, so it's a one piece pad. So if these do wear out, you do have to replace the whole unit. Now, this is the point where we start seeing a lot more performance coming into it and a lot more refinement as well. And there's a lot more options with Tiagra compared to Claris and Sora. First off, it goes to 10 speeds. So there are 10 cogs at the back on the cassette and it still retains the same options at the front. So we have triple and double chainring options. The chain set itself retains the same design as both Sora and Claris with the hollowed out arms. But the difference is the outer chainring has a composite back plate to reduce weight and to keep things working as perfectly as it can do. So stiffness is still very much paramount on here. There's a little bit of refinement when it comes to both the derailleurs and the shifters themselves. So we have a slight slimming down of the bracket and lever hood here, but it still retains the same metal levers and the same lever throw. Now, Tiagra is where the brakes get more options. So not only do we have the rim brakes, which are the same as you find on Sora and Claris, but you have hydraulic disc brake versions. So that means then that the shifters will change as well. Not only is there a hydraulic disc brake version of the shifters, but there's also a version for smaller hands with Tiagra. So there's a shifter that has smaller overall dimensions. That means for smaller riders or younger riders, that's a great option for keeping things as ergonomic as possible. The cassette itself uses a very, very similar type of construction to both Sora and Claris, but refines it slightly. So we have a slightly different machined out look to this. It still retains the steel construction. So obviously from a longevity point of view, that is ideal for your cassette. But what we have here is we then have more drillings, so slightly lighter weight, and there still has the shifting ramps. So shifting is as good as it can be with this. The slight difference is when it comes to the materials for both the front and rear derailleur. So we've got the dual colors on the front derailleur and it's a lighter front derailleur than both Sora and Claris itself. So overall the Tiagra group set becomes a lighter weight version. And if we finish off by looking at the rear derailleur, you can see that the differences between this and Claris are quite obvious. The main parallelogram is much more refined and it's a much stiffer unit here. So shifting is more precise with the Tiagra rear derailleur. And we have even little things like the barrel adjuster is drilled out and much slimmer to make it as light as possible while still retaining its performance. So those are the main parts of the Tiagra R4700 group set. So this is a group set that shares a lot of the technologies and looks with the flagship Dura Ace group set. So we have got real performance just with slightly more economical parts. So we've got a group set that offers the main benefits but without the bigger price tag of the higher end group sets. 105 is often found on bikes around the thousand pound mark, but you can find it on bikes that are slightly cheaper and slightly more expensive depending on where you're looking. And it's really a group set for everybody. So there are options for everybody within this group set. So let's start with what you've got and the main differences between this and the lower Tiagra group set. First and foremost, we've gone to 11 speed at the back. So this is an 11 speed cassette, and this now stays the same all the way through the rest of the ranges. If we start off by looking at the chain set, you will see that there's a very big difference in the design and also the construction 
compared to Tiagra. This still uses that same Holotech 2 version with the left hand crank arm and the right hand and bottom bracket axle together, but you'll notice that these crank arms are now solid. But they're not solid, they are actually hollow. So these have been hollowed out and put together to make as light and as stiff a crank set as is possible. So the weight difference between this and the lower chain sets is noticeable. It's available in several different options, both double and triple options, including 5236, which tends to be a very common size, and 5034, a compact chain set. And if we look then at this right hand crank arm and the chain rings, you will notice that the chain rings themselves are very, very much machined out. So we've got a machined out backing plate on here that reduces weight, but still keeps things as stiff as possible to keep shifting performance as good as it can be. We also have different crank arm length options. That's the same as all the other ones, but we just wanted to point it out here that you can get everything from 172.5, which tends to be the common size, to 175, 160, 165. So there's several different options on this. Going on to the shifters, we have a very much more refined version compared to Tiagra. So it's a much slimmed down version, so it feels a lot better in the hands. And it's also, as we said, 11 speed. It still has the same shape lever as you find on Tiagra, but it's a very, very sort of slimmed down and it's got a shorter lever throw. So it shifts gears much quicker and with better precision. Main difference obviously is the material. So this is all a metal construction with a plastic bracket that makes the shift lever. But we also then have a more patterned hood on here. So for better grip when you are riding in the wet and just in normal conditions as well. If we look at the derailers themselves, there is a big difference in terms of the design of the rear derailleur. The rear derailleur goes to a shadow version. So by this, they've changed the way it attaches to the frame. So it sits lower down and further into the cassette. So it's out of the way. So in case of a crash, you're less likely to damage the derailleurs. This is a design that's retained throughout the next couple of group sets as well, but it just makes for a neater and overall better looking derailleur system. You will also notice that the cage for the jockey wheels is much more sort of cut out and refined if we compare it to the Tiagra version here. So there's a big difference in the way it looks and the weight overall. There's also a big difference in terms of the way that the cable attaches. So it's again completely out of the way. So you need less cable coming out of the back of your bike. So it looks a lot neater. And there's a smaller but stiffer parallelogram design on here. So the shift in on this is very, very precise. Something else that's changed for the rear derailleur is the capacity for the different stars. So again, we have two options with a shorter cage or a longer cage. This is the longer GS version. The shorter cage can cope with a 30 tooth cassette and the longer cage is up to a 34 tooth cassette. So it means that you can use wider range cassettes in both options without fuss. The front derailleur has changed as well. This has gone to a compact toggle design, the same as you find on Altegra and on Durace. So there's no large lever that sticks out and it makes it look a lot neater. And it also means that there's less effort required to shift gear. So it's a much smoother operation to the front derailleur for 105. If we look at the brakes, so again, 105 is available in both rim brake and hydraulic disc brake version. But if we look at the rim brakes where we see the main differences, this goes to a dual pivot style. So rather than just having a single pivot here, there are two pivots on here to allow a much lighter action. So it uses less force to pull that brake. So it means you have more powerful braking for less effort. It also goes to a two piece brake pad. So we have a brake holder and then a brake shoe. So when it comes down to wearing out these, you just replace the inner part. So there's little adjustment needed before your brakes are working perfectly again. Everything again is more refined and it's gone to a different quick release style, which is the same that is retained for Altegra and Dura-Ace. So the lever to release the cable is below now rather than to the side. So again, it looks very neat. 
The final thing about the rim brake is it's been refined and lengthened to allow it to take up to a 28 millimeter tire now. So for modern bikes, the clearances are there when you're using rim brakes to use those wider volume tires. So that's a good thing with the 105 brake. Going on to the cassette, obviously 11 cogs is the biggest difference between this and Tiagra, but we've now gone to a multi-style cassette. So there are several different parts to this cassette rather than everything being riveted together. It's also put onto a lighter aluminium spider. So the larger three runs are cut down so it's less steel and more aluminium, which means again, weight is more refined. Everything else is steel. It's a full steel construction, so you still have that durability. And again, we're available in lots of different options. Altegra R8000 is probably the most popular of all of Shimano's group sets, and for very good reason. It combines excellent performance, reliable and lightweight construction and materials, and enough choice to satisfy any rider. It's also at Altegra level that we start seeing an electronic shift in version available, but we'll talk about that a bit later. Altegra is an incredibly versatile group set, and there are choices in chainrings, cassettes, and derailers to suit a wide variety of riding and bikes, from touring to racing to cyclocross and gravel. So let's look at the key parts of the Altegra R8000 group set. So starting with the chain set, and there are plenty of options to play with. The main difference between the Altegra and the 105 is in the chainring construction. So Altegra 105 uses a cutout construction for the backing plate for the outer chainring, whereas the Altegra uses a lighter weight composite material to do the same job. So it keeps things stiff and shift in performance is excellent, but without that extra weight. There is obviously a slight different version in the materials used. So again, we have a weight reduction with Altegra over 105. The other really, really interesting thing about the Altegra chainset is that the chainset uses the same BCD for all of its chain rings. So that's the bolt circle diameter. This means that with one set of crank arms, you can fit any type of chain ring from the smaller compact 5034 all the way up to the 5339 racing set. So if you've got a trip to the Alps and you wanna fit lower, Chainring sizes, you can do that very easy and then swap them back when you come back to the UK. Going to the shifters, and the biggest difference is actually in the lever material. So now with Altegra, you go to a carbon fiber lever. So this part here is made of carbon fiber. So we have a reduction in weight here for no difference in performance. The internals are also slightly more refined in terms of their materials. So we have more exotic materials in use and there is a composite bracket body here. So the main body of this is a lighter weight material as well. Overall, the shape is the same as 105 and the shape of the lever is the same as 105. They also have a slightly more refined cable routing for both gear and brake cables. Going to the derailers, the biggest difference is in the jockey wheels or the pulley wheels themselves. These have a more cutout style, so we have a weight reduction here, and it also uses a sealed bearing for them to run on, so we have a more reliable way of running. So these should last longer than on the 105 and retain that gear shift in performance better than ever before. There's also a slightly more refined barrel adjuster. So if we compare the two, you can see that we have a difference in terms of the barrel adjuster. So it's a much neater looking unit, but overall it's a very, very similar unit. There's also an RX version available in Altegra, and that is a much stiffer spring that allows it to be a better performing derailleur for off-road use. So for cyclocross and gravel use, the RX version of this derailleur is a great option. Going onto the front derailleur, and you can see it's got that compact toggle design, so there's no large arm that comes over the top. So cable routing is much easier, and it uses less force to shift gears. 
It's got a steel plate, so that's the same as the 105 version, but overall it is a nice, neat and refined unit for the Altegra front derailleur. Critical difference as well is in the cassette. We know it's an 11 speed cassette because it's the same as 105, but the materials that have been used and the construction is very, very different. Whereas with the 105, we have a multi-part construction with an aluminium spider on the larger three cogs. For the Altegra, this has been extended to put the weight down even further. So the top five cogs are put over two different spiders. The smaller one is a composite, so it's a plastic composite spider. And then we have a lighter weight aluminium spider for the larger ones. The steel that is used for the sprockets themselves is a more refined steel, so it is a lighter weight and there is more drilling and better shift ramps as well. So overall, the weight difference between this and the 105 means that the Altegra cassette is lighter. There are several options available, so for any type of rider, there is a choice within the cassette range itself. The Altegra Group Set is available with both rim brake and disc brake versions, so the shifters do change shape depending on which version you've gone for. There's also a little bit more adjustment with the Altegra shifters than even the higher end Dura Ace, so you can adjust the lever throw for your hand size much more than you can on the Dura Ace shifters themselves. At the very top of the group set range is Shimano's Dura-Ace R9100. This uses the very best in materials and construction techniques to produce the lightest and most flawlessly performing group set Shimano has to offer. Often found on the very best of bikes and at world tour level as well, this is the group set that every other group set is compared to and it's where the latest in technological innovations Shimano has to offer are shown first and foremost. So let's go through a few of the key components of this group set, starting with the chain set. Now this looks fairly similar to the Altegra chain set that we showed just recently, but there's a huge difference not only in the way it's constructed, but also the materials themselves. First of all, this used the same design as all the other group sets, so it's the Holotech 2 with the lighter hollow arms. But this uses a cold forging technique, so it uses huge presses to push the material through, which aligns all of the atoms in the same way, making it as strong as possible whilst reducing the amount of material that's required. So this is without doubt the lightest chain set that Shimano has to offer. It's available in a variety of different choices, predominantly in the double chain set versions. And again, it uses the hollow outer chain ring technique. The Dura Ace chain set is also available in a power option. So there is an option with a power meter built into this. So for those people that are very, very keen on racing and training, that is a great option that Shimano provides only on the Dura Ace chain set. The shifters themselves are fairly similar to the Altegra. They use carbon fiber for the main lever body. This is a slightly different grade carbon fiber, so it's a little bit lighter again. They also use much more refined internals, so the materials used inside are better quality, so we have things like titanium inside here, which reduces weight and keeps the reliability up as high as possible. It also has a carbon bracket, so this is a carbon reinforced plastic bracket that is lighter than you find on the Altegra version, and a titanium clamp, so that clamps it onto the handlebars. So this is as good as it gets. The shifting is very, very light action with Dura, so there's a much lighter weight feel when you're using this compared to the other group sets. If we go on to the braking options, it again is available in both rim brake and hydraulic brake versions. So this rim brake version is the same style as you find with the 105 and Altegra, but it uses sealed bearings inside the pivots to give it the lightest action possible. So it uses minimal force to provide maximum power. It also uses that same 
removable inner brake shoe so you can replace these when they are worn out very very easy with very little adjustment and it's available in both standard aluminium rim versions and carbon fiber rim version brake pads going on to the hydraulic brakes you can see that these are flat mount brakes this is the same for the rest of shimano's hydraulic brake range and it's a technique and a technology that Shimano developed themselves to give a very very stiff mounting point and again these are available with both the mechanical version and also the electronic version that we'll look at in a few minutes. Going on to the derailers now this is the electronic version but it's hard push to notice that because it's so slim it uses the same direct mounts so we've got that much stiffer mounting point and also it keeps it out of the way. But the main difference between this and Altegra is in terms of what the cage is made from. So Altegra uses an aluminium cage, whereas Dura-Ace uses carbon fiber. So we've again reduced weight to the minimum without reducing performance. The rear derailleur is only available in one size as well. So whereas most of the others are available in that SS and GS, the short cage and long cage version, this is a long cage and it allows it to run a larger capacity cassette. And talking about the cassettes, now Dura-Ace cassettes are available in up to an 11 to 30 tooth cassette, which is a wider range than they've ever had before, allowing more riders the ability to run Dura-Ace in hillier areas. So a Dura-Ace cassette isn't all steel. So what we have here is we have two different materials for the sprockets. You can see that by the difference in the color there. So the larger sprockets, so the ones that have the most weight, are now made from titanium. So this is obviously a very expensive material but it reduces the weight of the cassette. The use of all these lighter weight materials means that there's a weight saving of over 50 grams compared to the Altegra cassette. So that's a large saving, definitely worth it if you are looking to race. Going on to the front derailleur, now this is obviously the Altegra version, but the difference between this and the Dura-Ace is the Dura-Ace comes with an aluminium case. So rather than this part being made of steel, it's made of aluminium to reduce weight as much as possible. The bolts themselves are titanium, so we have extra weight saving involved. So overall, the Dura-Ace group set is as light as it's possible to be and as reliable as it's possible to be with no compromise whatsoever. So that's the six mechanical group sets that Shimano has to offer. So now we need to look at the two electronic variations that they produce. They're labeled DI2, and that's the way you know that they are the electronic versions, and they're only available in the two highest group sets. The Altegra version is known as the Altegra R8050 or R8050, and the Durace is known as the R9150 or 9150. So let's look at the parts that are involved. First and foremost, the shift levers. These are very, very different to the mechanical version because they don't need to pull a cable. So instead of a lever that moves inwards, we now have two buttons on the side. These are differentiated by the patterns on them so you can feel for the differences while you're riding. The larger top lever shifts up a gear and the smaller bottom button shifts down a gear. So you can hear that there's a single click when you go up or down, but if you press and hold, you can shift more than one gear at a time. Going on to the derailers, the main difference between these and the normal mechanical versions is they have a motor sitting at the top or in the case of the rear derailleur at the back of the system. This is used to power the derailleur, to move it, to shift gear. So for the front derailleur, we have a motor at the top and the rear derailleur has a motor at the back. The rest of the construction is the same as with the mechanical. So if we look at the Durace rear, it has the carbon fiber rear cage and the lighter, more refined shaping. This is practically as light as the standard rear derailleur system, which is pretty incredible when you think about how complex the motor is inside. The rest of the parts you need to convert to electronic is a series of wires, junction boxes, and of course, a battery to power the whole thing. 
The advantages of the electronic system is complete reliability in gear change. So every time you change gear, it will be exactly the same. And there's also the ability to run it in a synchronized mode, which allows the front derailleur to shift when you're shifting the rear derailleur. So you will always end up with the perfect gears. You can obviously change this around so you can have the system working exactly as you want it. And the electronic system is both Bluetooth and ANT compatible. So if you have a smartphone or a computer with the relevant software, you can completely customize the way that this system shifts suiting yourself. As Shimano's DI2 electronic parts are consistent with the rest of their group set range, if you are running an 11 speed group set, you can of course use the electronic parts. You can mix and match between Altegra, Durace and 105 as well, if you so require. That's the beauty of this system. Hopefully this little overview has shed a little bit more light into the differences between these key Shimano road group sets. If you need more information, we've put the links to both Shimano and Freewheel's websites in the description below, so you can find out a little bit more information there. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe to keep up with our latest releases. And if you've got any questions regarding Shimano group sets, please put it in the comment section below. But until then, we'll see you soon.